Hey everybody, welcome back to the Haven Family Farm. Today we're gonna to talk about a fun topic, chainsaws. I bought myself a new toy and I'm gonna show you what it is and we're going to try it out and uh, see how it works. So since we're talking about chainsaws, let's go ahead and start with a couple of the saws that I've owned. Uh, I have a couple other ones, but we're gonna start with these. These are the main ones I use. So this is a steel uh, MS, 360 it's actually an 036 if you can see written on there on the top this saw i bought back oh geez i was 16 years old when i bought that saw that is an old saw it has been a fantastic saw uh the reason that it says 360 on the side instead of the original it had a plate on top that says 036 is because the only problem i've ever had with this saw uh was the uh, pull cord broke on there and they put a new thing on the side of it that's the only issue other than you know some service work that I've ever had with this saw and I don't even want to tell you how long I've owned it because uh, that's going to tell you how old I am and we just don't want to talk about that <laughs> so I got a couple of these bigger saws I have some different size bars and things so those are great for big stuff and then I have a smaller one this is a 170 um, so this saw I bought for just doing small stuff. Like my idea was kind of keep it around, do some limb work with it, maybe keep it in the truck type of thing, and just have a nice little handy saw for small things when you don't want to hoss that big thing around or its older brother. So, you know, I got that. But there's some disadvantages to that. So I bought this. This is another steel saw. So, if you can notice here, this is actually a battery saw. Uh, its model number, they have it on this side, is MSA-160C. So that's, see if I can get this off of here. There we go. Flip this baby around and we'll talk about this saw for just a minute. So yep, this is a battery, battery powered saw, 12 inch bar on it. Has a really small chain, really, really small chain, even smaller than that guy there. Uh, but so some of the reasons I bought that saw was exactly why I bought this saw. I wanted a small saw for just doing some quick limbing or just some small, small little cuts. I didn't want a big heavy saw and I like to keep a saw in my truck for those of you who don't know, um, you know, we do have a farm here, but I also have a another business. You know, we do driveways and land clearing and food plots and all that kind of stuff. So the other day, uh, I actually did this full disclosure. I did use this uh, once already. Uh, I had it on a project. We built a timber. Uh, retaining wall along a driveway for a customer for a parking pad so i use this to cut the timbers down to size so it has been used on that project but not for very long it only took one of the battery bars away but it's nice to have something like this where i can put in the cab of the truck i have it with me and when i get in the cab of the truck when it's 90 degrees out it doesn't smell like gas and you know you don't have gas leaking in the truck and making a mess that's why i wanted a battery saw those couple reasons lightweight no gas to worry about. And so far the battery seems to last for a long time. You still do have to put bar oil in it, but uh, you know, other than that, super simple to take care of. So we'll talk briefly about uh, these battery chainsaws. There's a lot of companies that make them and uh, steel is, is probably one of the more expensive ones out there. There are some that I've seen with much bigger bars on them and uh, you know, just, just different features. I just like this brand i've had good luck with it doesn't mean that the electric version is going to be as good as the gas versions have treated me you know who knows but um so when talking about these steel saws specifically this one is sort of like a middle of the road version so there's uh, a homeowner version which is even smaller and less powerful than this one and then there's bigger ones so I, again, I kind of went with uh, middle of the road and same thing uh, with the battery. So steel makes this very complicated. They have uh, many different batteries that are available. Uh, they have different, uh, I don't want to call it power or amp settings. I mean, I'm not an expert on this stuff, but uh, there's a battery that's smaller than this. There's a battery, I think there's two that are larger. And the only difference with the one 
larger one is that it charges a little bit, 15 minutes faster than this one. So to me, it wasn't worth it to buy it. This saw is supposed to run roughly about 45 minutes on this battery. So, you know, I think it'll be fine. But uh, so it was a little bit of a learning curve with the saws, kind of looking at the different models, looking at the different batteries, battery chargers. So they have a lot to offer, which is nice, except it makes it a little bit confusing. Luckily, the dealer that I deal with uh, is, is well-versed. You know, they're a nice, small, little, little dealership, and uh, they always take care of me. But he kind of walked me through some of the, the different options, and he knows what I do, so he kind of steered me in a certain direction. I was just going to buy the cheapest one and see how it held up and, you know, the smallest one. And after hearing kind of what I wanted to do, he says, you know, you got to... You got to go with a bigger one. So uh, enough talking about the saw. Again, not an expert. So let's go ahead and we'll go out and we're going to cut some logs. So we're down here at our main field entrance and you can kind of see how low these are. You can't even fit a hay wagon underneath there anymore without stuff, you know, smacking and brushing the wagon. So what we're going to do with this saw is we're going to come along and we're going to cut a bunch of these trees down. Uh, a lot of them are in the, I would say, three inch diameter range. That one's closer to six. I know it doesn't look like it on camera. But we're going to cut a bunch of these out of here that are leaning. Same thing on the other side. Uh, we actually have a big one over here to do. There's a, a big double right in here. So we're going to put this side of the test. We'll cut these up and get rid of them. But that way we'll open this up so you can get through without scraping paint off of tall things. I think even the tractor now, the cab tractors are brushing the mirrors and things are brushing here. So I'd really rather not rip a mirror off. So before we get started here, just a couple quick things, uh, you know, about the saw. I've really only used it that one time, as I mentioned to you guys, but um, it has a nice, uh, easy way to adjust the saw here, the, the chain. There's just a simple little crank here uh, that you do. And then you've got your battery here. You can push the button. We, you see we got full bars to pop the battery out. You just squeeze and pull. Simple. Now these batteries can go on a lot of different uh, steel attachments. It's not just for the chainsaw. Of course, you've got your safety stop here. Oh, that way is locked. That way is unlocked. And then to operate the saw on this side, there is a safety button that you have to push in before you pull the trigger. Uh, so other than that, you know, it's a nice, simple, easy saw to use. I'm going to put uh, just a little bit of safety stuff on here. Don't need all big chaps and stuff for this little saw. And let's get cutting.
All right, there you have it. Everything's all opened up, ready for hay wagons and tall items. Saw worked great. Oh, probably did about 50 cuts with it. You know, smaller stuff. The only thing that is a little funny, and it's probably just something to get used to, is the chain adjustment. The chain seemed a little bit tight. Now, now see it looks loose. So you pop this up and you loosen it, you turn it, and then you just turn this dial uh, to either plus or backwards is minus. But it seems like you, you go just the tiniest little bit of turn and all of a sudden it's too tight and then all of a sudden it's too loose. I can't do it with one hand. But it was nice and tight before and now it's loose. So uh, that's the only thing I'll say about this saw that is um, a little bit finicky so far is just it, it take it's probably just me trying to get used to it it's a very fine adjustment on that dial to uh get that right so the other thing is maybe taking the cover off maybe some sawdust or something got built up in there so again just something to kind of get used to just kind of curious here what our battery situation is we only used one bar of battery for all those cuts so that's pretty cool um, I know there's a lot of battery powered saws out there, so I'm not here to tell you, you know, go buy exactly one of these or whatever. I just wanted to try one out and I'm just a, a steel fan, you know, right? <laughs> so sorry, the wind's picking up here, but anyway, so that was just me trying out this saw here on some actual trees and stuff. Hit the subscribe button, the bell icon. Hey, do a thumbs up if you would please while you're there too, because in the future, we're really going to be putting this saw to the test. Uh, when we start cutting actually some firewood, uh, I'm going to take that and I'm going to just work it and see how long making some big cuts, you know, 10, 12 inch size logs uh, using the full bar, see how it does power wise and see how long the battery actually lasts when you're cutting some real big stuff. You know, that's not exactly what the saw is designed for, but we're going to do a little torture test on it later on this fall. So stay tuned. So thanks for watching, everybody. Uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Questions, comments down below. And uh, hey, I hope to see you on the next video.